Hey guys, today I am going to read you an email that Rudy sent out to his Patreons. Rudy's opinion, brand new to the market, is the world release of MetaZoo. Very honored to help bring this item to the world and bring exposure to the brand and insist in getting the product spread around the world. Positives. Huge fan base online and cult following around this new product. Prices are extremely cheap for first edition non-Kickstarter even now. Potential for long-term growth and getting in early is very high. Two major USA distributors are on board in moving the product. Large partnerships with a lots of money behind this company. Unique look and style to the cards. Very nostalgic nostalgic and connects with a lot of collectors family friendly ccg which allows kids and parents to share the experience negative very high risk untested new product in nationwide scale brand new company experiencing growing pains and being stretched with demand yep that is what their problem was they just couldn't meet the demand right Many high-end collectors and investors do not like the look and feel of the game. Long-term gameplay, balancing mechanics, power creep are all untested and have no historical data. Conclusion. The promo kit was engineered so that patrons would have minimal risk due to the exclusive playmat plus Rudy card value. And then um, highlighted... Uh, the person who sent me this wanted you guys to know. Based on a risk-reward perspective, the odds are very favorable. So that was Rudy's assessment of MetaZoo when it first came out. Uh, later on Nightfall, he would sell a really interesting bundle. Let's just put it where it is uh, and where it needs to be. Um, Nick in Strength Pokemon, who is the only content creator in the space, uh, he has a, well, strength in training, uh, over a million subscribers. Uh, I, I believe those are his plaques on the back of his uh, videos. And he made a video calling Alpha Investments out for being dishonest. And I think that's where we are with this. Uh, Alpha Investments, of course, has recently mentioned he did not tell you it's investable to not invest. Yet, there you go. That is a email or a letter he sent to the patrons indicating and giving them a investment profile breakdown. I also think it's kind of funny because the very name of the channel is Alpha Investments. Investments is literally in, baked in the name of the channel. Something that I make fun of Jeff Wilson for as well, sports card investor. So, oh, well, you guys shouldn't invest. I, I didn't tell you guys. I mean, no, your, your channel is named Alpha Investments, and all you do is flex on the Timmies, right? That you made such good investments, right? So I think MetaZoo is, I mean, obviously Alpha Investments is out. He just wants to kind of move some more crown promos. I haven't seen a single one of them on TCG Player yet. I don't even, I, th I think at this point, TCG Player just doesn't even want to list them. Would be my um, my guess, right? They probably simply just don't want to list them anymore. So back to the uh, issues at hand. Um, yeah, this is a nightmare for MetaZoo players. This is a nightmare because they're the one dude with multiple promos of himself, still promos of himself, still selling the same uh, different promos that he himself made of himself. Um, I mean, the narcissism is incredible. I mean, just let's think about this. The crown promos, he made them of him. He drew a picture of himself trying to sell this card to you having no artistic skill or any you know any reference to poncho the actual artist who supposedly people love right but like, apparently they didn't love him enough right i find this pretty unabashedful i mean it is i mean it clearly when you go watch alpha investment when you're his patrons 
you know, the amount of money people dumped in MetaZoo, like if you were to put that money into a nice magic collection or a Pokemon collection, this is something that Rudy doesn't tell you. Like, he doesn't buy, like, for he buys collections, right? He buys other people's collections. That's where the money is. If you can are good negotiating or you can get a really good deal on a collection, that's where you can make a little bit of money, right? Margin. You don't make money buying boxes from a middleman, and that's what he is. He's a middleman, right? Um, and you you don't make no one's ever made money doing this. You know, you can go to the spice roads of old, and it's just a, the more middleman you have, one of those middlemen will get greedy, and then there's no profit le left for anyone at the end. You know of the, the trail. Um, I think that's. You know, Nick and Strength Pokemon, give that video a view. I hope it's still up. I hope he doesn't take it down. He's got a very good grasp of this situation. He's been on YouTube for 12 years, and he's got, he had enough of uh, his BS. And Rudy complains about how people don't like him. I mean, there's a reason. I mean, I, I will say this. I get emails all the time about Alpha Investments and all the shitty stuff he does. And there's really no way for me to collab the email, so I don't talk about it. But if any of the, if even 10% of this stuff is true, um, like he said, and the people, the people's arguments now are, oh, he told you he's not part of the community. He told you he's just trying to make money. He told you that, and you're the lemmings who did it. I mean, yes, that's his stance today. That wasn't his stance uh, two years. And again, I have all his emails from the Patreons. You don't think I have them all? Um, and there's some deals that I just like, you know, I don't know. I, I have a lifetime of videos to make from just the deals alone that he offered. And these are uh, monthly paid customers, essentially. Yikes, my dude. Um, yeah, now, I mean, if, if you read that and you don't think that's an investment profile on a new card game, yikes. Um then, man, I got some MetaZoo packs to sell you, my boy. So, MetaZoo to the moon. To the moon, baby. Or to Mars. I guess uh, the moon isn't high enough. We got to aim Elon, Elon Musk style to Mars. 6-9. Six 6-9. Nine, six nine, six nine. You got to add that 6-9 for that extra 100% increase in ROI.